Hey guys, Y13A here. In this video, I want to give you guys a uh, design walkthrough of the new Rapid Prototype 003. Um, looking at the overall configuration of this new design, it is a kind of compact, low aspect ratio, uh, flying wing slash uh, flying wing body design. If you look at the main fuselage portion here, it kind of looks like a portion of the X-47B, which was a cancelled Navy uh, UCAV design, which is one of my favorite planes. Um, in that design, the outer wing panels are perfectly straight, but for this rapid prototype, I took inspiration on the fuselage of that design and incorporated it here, and uh, instead of having the outer wing portions here that are straight, I uh, ended it with a kind of a dihedral wing panel portion. And so if you actually look from the back here, uh, this design has a nice kind of a normal kind of distribution curve, like just a nice distribution of uh, thickness here that kind of tapers down in an anhedral and reaches this point, which is the end of the uh, fuselage uh, kind of portion here. And then it uh, angles up in a dihedral at the wingtip. Uh, this is not quite a winglet design, because I know like in passenger commercial aircraft, like the 737, uh, the winglets are actually much, much higher. And the purpose of that is to reduce some of the wingtip vortices that form off of the wings uh, during flight. Um, but here it's not exactly that, it's kind of just a shallow wing portion that angles up just to increase the wing area a little bit. And just an idea, and which is the kind of reason behind the Rapid Prototype series is to test out new ideas. That's kind of the main feature, is the new overall uh, design configuration for the air airplane. On the underside we have some features here, like the ventral fin which is kind of just a very simplified kind of rectangle shape here. Um, inside, I don't know if you can see it here, but how I made this was I wrapped a piece of cardstock around a uh, plastic straw. And so this actually gives it a little bit of thickness near the front, which tapers out to uh, just uh, two layers of cardstock back here. And so that makes a nice fin kind of profile which I think is really nice. It also makes the front more durable uh, because, you know, if I fly this, it's gonna crash eventually. So uh, making it more resilient is always a plus. On the outer portions here, we have kind of a downward pointing winglet. Uh, and this is also inspired from the 737. Thankfully, I'm not copying their uh, MCAS design, which is what's causing so many problems. But anyway, this is the downwards sweeping winglet on this uh, design and basically what this does is increases the yaw stability a little bit. Also it just kind of looks interesting I think and uh, I'm not gonna lie some of the times when I make these designs I just think about what might look interesting and what might be a cool new idea and so this is one of them. Um, the winglet, downward winglet. Basically with this, uh, you're able to actually, cause it's cut at the root here a little bit. So you can see it. Um, you can actually turn this in and out to adjust the yaw uh, performance of the air aircraft. So that's another neat feature uh, that I incorporated here. Otherwise, I mean, it's pretty bland. There's some elevons here start a little bit offset from the in inner root because that would be too thick at the center here. So I just offset that a little bit and it goes all the way to the outer wing panel here. On the fuselage, nothing too notable here. I actually copied the uh, internal architecture of the YX-10 Astra that I made a while back um, with the arching kind of uh, spine that goes down the axis, middle axis of the aircraft. And so that creates a really nice contour, I think. It looks really nice. Um, 
it gives it that kind of a UAV kind of look. Uh, I know on the X47, I really like that plane. Um, this is kind of very inspired based off of that. The middle portion here kind of looks like a normal distribution if, you, if you've ever taken a statistics class. It's a very beautiful curve in my opinion. And uh, you know, it kind of just tapers down like that. And so that entire uh, shape was created based off of the new architecture that was uh, introduced in the YX10 Astra. Um, and basically, that's pretty much it to this design. On the top, there's uh, intake, which doesn't really serve a purpose other than to look more UAV-ish. So an upper air intake. There's actually a bump here, which is interesting. I don't know. I think I came upon that by accident. Uh, it wasn't exactly a design feature um, that was planned, but the way I wrapped this outer cardstock panel around that kind of a uh, straw architecture it just yielded this nice uh, kind of concave section right here um, it just transitions really smoothly I want to be able to replicate that in the future so I might try doing something more with that but um, yeah essentially this is pretty much all there is um, nothing too much more to add um, panels here you know they're defined just like the just like in the YX10 um, and I guess the only new thing about the fuselage is that the end here, where it kind of terminates, is a kind of a nozzle shape, nozzle-like shape. Uh, it doesn't look too great, but I mean, it's a start. If you've seen some of my old paper airplanes, the, the nozzle at the back, it just doesn't exist at all. So this is already a step ahead. Um, this is kind of inspired off of the X47 as well, and you can see the zigzag designs here uh, that just kind of, kind of complement that engine nacelle kind of a uh, feel to the design. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of this new design, Rapid Prototype 003. Um, the weather outside is kind of bad right now. It's snowy and, uh, well actually it's sunny right now, but there's a ton of snow on the ground and it's wet and salty and everything so I don't think I'll be able to flight test this anytime soon but when I do get flight test footage I'll be sure to uh, update you guys with the details there so yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching and uh I guess I'll talk to you guys soon see you guys next time